Accessory bone. An accessory bone or supernumerary bone is a bone that is not normally present in the body, but can be found as a variant in a significant number of people. They pose the risk of being misdiagnosed as bone fractures on radiography. Wrist and hand. Ocellnostyloidium. The ocellnostyloidium is an ulnar styloid process that is not fused to the rest of the ulna bone. On X-rays, an ocellnostyloidium is sometimes mistaken for an avulsion fracture of the styloid process. However, the distinction between these is extremely difficult. It is alleged that the ocellnostyloidium has a close relationship with or is synonymous with the ostricadrum secundarium. Oscentral. The oscarpicentral, also briefly oscentral, is, where present, located on the dorsal side of the wrist between the scaphoid, the trapezoid and capitate, radially to the deep fossa of the capitate. The bone is present in almost every human embryo of 17 to 49 mm length, but then usually fuses with the ulnar side of the scaphoid. Sometimes it fuses with the capitate or the trapezoid. The literature also refers to an os central at the palm of the carpus, but this existence is questioned. In most primates, including orangutans and gibbons, the os central is an independent bone that is attached to the scaphoid by strong ligaments. Conversely, in African apes and humans, the os central normally fuses to the scaphoid early in development. In chimpanzees, the bone fuses with the scaphoid first after birth, while in gibbons and orangutans this occurs first at older age. A good number of scholars have construed the scaphoid central fusion as a functional adaptation to knuckle walking, since a fused morphology would better cope with the increased shear stress on this joint during this kind of quadrupedal locomotion. The results from a simulation study have shown that fused scaphoid central show lower stress values as compared to non-fused morphologies, thus supporting a biomechanical explanation for the scaphoid central fusion as a functional adaptation for knuckle walking. Ankle Accessory bones at the ankle mainly include Ostrigonum, further described below, may also be seen on an ankle x-ray Foot Accessory navicular An accessory navicular bone, also called ostibial externum, occasionally develops in front of the ankle towards the inside of the foot. This bone may be present in approximately 2-21% to of the general population and is usually asymptomatic. When it is symptomatic, surgery may be necessary. The Geist classification divides the accessory navicular bones into three types. Ostrigonum. The ostrigonum or accessory talus represents a failure of fusion of the lateral tubercle of the posterior process of the talus bone. Is estimated to be present in 7-25% of adults. It can be mistaken for an avulsion fracture of lateral tubercle of talus, shepherd fracture, or a fracture of the stida process. In most cases, ostrigonum will go unnoticed but with some ankle injuries it can get trapped between the heel and ankle bones which irritates the surrounding structures, leading to ostrigonum syndrome. Less common accessory bones other locations neck, shoulder, vertebral column, knee, neck, shoulder.